But I'm just saying, whatever make you happy, girl, you go to the gym and sweat it out and you come back feeling fine. Yes, girl, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Gwendolyn. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. Hopefully you'll find something on this channel that you enjoy and you'll come back and rock out with your girl. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to be trying to show you or I want to share with you eight ways that you can maintain your happiness in this ugly dark world, okay? Although we strive to be happy, you guys, there are so many things in this world that causes us to be so unhappy. For instance, it can be things such as a breakup. You might be in a toxic relationship. You might just, you know, don't like the way you live or not happy with your life. Don't like the environment you live in. It could be pressures at work, like with a coworker. You could be overwhelmed with bills and just stressed out about money. And it could just be all of the kids and you're not really getting a break. You know, it could just, it could be anything, you guys, all kind of things. Somebody could just ride by you on the street and give you the bird and just, just tick you off, wake up and just stump your toe, whatever. It, you know, all kind of things can just set, it's, it's like a trigger. It could just set it off. Sometimes it could be your own thoughts. Your thoughts can just be negative, 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 and it could just be drawing all kind of negative experiences to you. So whatever it is, the list goes on. So first, let me get this straight. Everything that glitters ain't gold, girl. And the people you looking at, they might be just as sad as you are. Happiness is a choice and you must find ways to be happy in spite of. This gotta be your like daily attitude. Like every day you have to wake up and be determined to be happy today. I'll be the first to say, I don't wake up and feel good every day. I'm not happy every single day. Okay, although I love to laugh, I like to have fun sometimes, I like to just laugh and stuff with friends, but I'm not happy every single day. First no. of all, you must know your triggers. Your triggers can come by seeing something, by hearing something. You might be feeling something going on in your body. It could just be negative thoughts. You could just be relaxing and then just having these negative thoughts and it could just set you off, especially if it's something from the past or somebody wronged you about something and you replaying that thing in your head, that can be a trigger. If you know what your triggers is, that's the first place you wanna start. So let's go over some ways that could possibly help you maintain your happiness or manage it at least. So the first thing, like I just said, the first thing you have to know how to do and what you must do is know your triggers, what stresses you out. So the first thing I do as soon as I, all of a sudden I feel like I'm unhappy or I stop and I think, you first gotta think and I say, what in the world just happened? that caused me to feel this way. I'd be like, what just, what just happened that made me feel this way? That's where you gotta start. So first, if it's a person, the first thing you gotta do when you realize who the person is, cause you can be good all day long until a certain person just come in the room or come around and you notice that, that, that it's something about the energy, they don't make you happy. And if it's a person, the first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is get rid of the person. I don't care if it's a family member. I don't care if it's, I don't care who it is, okay? If it's a so-called friend or somebody you thought, you know, could possibly be your friend, but for some reason, every time they're in your space, it's something about their energy, they just not making you happy, get rid of the person. So I'm gonna tell you something right now about me. I eliminate people out of my life, I do. And because I feel like it helps me to maintain my happiness or my peace. So I have to analyze how long they've been around me, how long I've known them, what happens when they're around? Like, how do I feel when they're around? Like, I really begin to analyze people before I remove them. And this is what you're gonna have to do if you wanna be happy. So that's, the, that's gonna be number one. If you find out that it's a person, eliminate them and move them out of your life. Now, if it's one of your coworkers, avoid them at all costs. Just avoid them altogether. So if you have to communicate with them, cause sometimes if you're in a workspace, you have to talk to people, even if you know you, the energy isn't good with you guys, you might have to conversate with them. But when you have your conversations, keep it short and just straight to the point so that you don't have to be in their presence all day. If you walk in the break room and they are in there, go out and eat your lunch in the car. 
I mean, do whatever you got to do. It's not that you are running from the person or avoiding the person. No, you maintaining your happiness. You maintaining your peace. You want to make sure that all day long you good. Don't worry about how other people feel because you're removing yourself. You're doing what's best for you. Listen, listen, girl. If it's a breakup, if you broke up with your man, do not look at their social media page. You want to be happy? Stop looking at their social media page. Don't look, don't reread the text messages, girl, just delete them all. Don't reread them. Don't drive by their house. Don't try to see, you know, what's going on. Don't be up two, three in the morning, you know, checking over there, trying to see what's happening with them, etc. If you got pictures of them up in your house, take them down. Okay, it's over. You're not together anymore. Take them down so that you don't keep yourself in a negative mood. Don't play the songs that y'all used to listen to together. Okay, are you really trying to be happy? Don't don't reminisce. Don't do it. It's just going to take you backwards and, and then you're going to be thinking, yeah, and then you, you laying around moping all day in your house. No, get up, girl. Get up and find you something better to do today. Find you something positive to do and get around some positive people and stop looking on the page. So, for instance, with me, every single month, my trigger is going to be when my menstrual cycle come on. Every month, I already know that when this thing come on, it makes me feel some kind of crappy way, okay? So what do I do? I've even set aside in my budget to make sure that when my menstrual come on, I got, I got a certain amount of money where I go get flowers for myself, candles from either TJ Maxx or Bath & Body, wherever I want to get them from to get that smell good aroma in my house. I might buy myself a bottle of wine. I might stop by Starbucks and get my favorite latte or Dunkin' Donuts or something. I don't know. And this is what I do every single month. I have something set aside for that trigger. Okay. And then you know what else I do? I stay in the house. I stay in the house and I might lay down and I stay off the street riding around in my car and stuff because I don't want to be snapping at nobody and they ain't did nothing to me. You snapping on people because your period on. Come on now. <laughs> Girl, literally, I'm telling you, I know how I feel. So, you know, not to be, it ain't cool to get on other people's nerves because you feeling like a little crap today. Okay, just stay home. Stay out of people's way. You already know. You don't want to treat people like that, so stay out, stay home, you know. But learn how to deal with your triggers. So when I buy my flowers, when I get my candles, once I get my wine, shh, it just take me like all the way up. I feel so good once I get these certain things in my home. Because I like to look at the flowers. I want to smell the candles. I want to sip on a little wine. I want to lay down. I might turn on some nice music. I might watch a nice movie. And guess what? Yep, I come all the way down from that aggravation and I know how to deal with that thing when it show up at that time of the month. And another thing, it could possibly be your bills. You know, you might be stressed, you might have more bills than you have money at the end of the month, I don't know. <laughs> you know, watch some budget vid videos. Get on YouTube and find out how to budget, find out how to manage your money, find out how to downgrade and, and remove bills and things that you don't need so that you can have extra, you know, money left over for yourself so that you don't feel so bogged down. Look at what you really don't need and, you know, see what's a priority for you and start eliminating things so that you can have some extra money. But you're going to have to find a way of how to manage your stress triggers. So number two, I'm going to say get out and enjoy yourself. Okay, get up, get out and enjoy yourself. Don't sit around the house with the curtains closed all day, the house all dark, gloomy, and hold on, y'all. Let me turn off my cell phone because it just keep beeping and I'm trying to talk to y'all. So don't stay inside. Open the curtains. Let the sunlight come in. If you see some of my Instagram stories, sometimes y'all see me doing that. I be opening up the curtains and stuff. I do that every morning. I need the sunlight, girl. Let the sun come in. Brighten up my day. Let me tell you, I get up in the morning and I make coffee. It's something about very, very bright colors. Guess what? I have this yellow coffee mug. You know what? It's, it's actually right here right now. You see this? 
I, I went out with my son somewhere one day and I had on a dress that had like a yellow color in it. And this lady, she was like, I love that color because it just makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. That's what she was saying. But it's true. And I was telling her about this mug. I said, you know, like if I wake up and it's a rainy day and it's gray and gloggy outside and it's feeling crappy, you know, some people enjoy the rain. Now that's a good time for them. They sleep good. They want to eat. They want to get cozy and turn on their fireplace. So that's what I'm saying is different triggers and different moves for different people, you know, and if you a person like the rain just make you feel like, oh man, it messed up the day, you know what I'm saying? Some people feel like that. So like, I'm just saying, I have certain things that just makes me, this coffee mug, I like to pull this coffee mug out on like real groggy days. And I'm like, I'm looking for something bright, something light to like lift me up. So get out, get with some family, get with some friends that make you laugh, go out somewhere, go to one of your favorite places and eat and just get yourself together, but get out and enjoy yourself. Don't sit in the house and mope around. You know, don't, don't lay on the pillow all day and just feel down. Do what makes you happy. So number three, I'm going to say boost your self-esteem. Boost your self-esteem. Well, how do you do that, Gwen? Girl, I like to get up. I like to dress up. Most, it, I don't know, but it, it has been said a hundred times. When people dress up, it's something about them dressing up. When you look good, you feel good. You want to feel good? Look good. I go out, get you a new haircut or, or whatever, you know, makes you happy. Do your nails, do your makeup, put on a little makeup, put your put your best outfit on the day, spray on your favorite fragrance. You know what I'm saying? And just boost your self-esteem up. Help yourself up. Don't wait for nobody to pull you up. You know, go ahead and, and try to help your own self when, it, when your mood is down or low. I literally experience these things and I'm telling you what I do and how these things actually do work for me. Learn a new recipe, cook a new, you know, cook something new or take up a cooking class or just put on you some nice, you know, you put on yourself a nice workout outfit, your tennis shoes, go to the gym and just sweat it out, baby. Just sweat it out. <laughs> Whatever and come back and you be feeling fine as ever, honey. You might be still the same size, but child, it ain't nobody business but yours, right? <laughs> But I'm just saying, whatever make you happy, girl, you go to the gym and sweat it out and you come back feeling fine. Yes, girl, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Boost your self-esteem. So my number four is gonna be similar to my number three because we just talked about the gym workout, but try to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm gonna tell you right now, bad foods is gonna bring you a very low frequency. I am telling you, if you sit around, you eating potato chips and junk food all day and cake and pies and anything you feel like you want to just stuff in your mouth, let me tell you something. That stuff has a lot to do with your moods at some point because certain foods after so much time and, and over time can start to make you sick, make you diabetic, make you you just fat and all kind of things you know we have to fight against stuff like that because a lot of people when they get in a bad mood they start eating all kind of stuff that that could be a trigger so going back to number one if 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 you notice that every time you eat a lot of junk food and all of a sudden you just groggy you sleepy you don't want to do nothing no more you just feeling you know, some kind of way, you ain't got no energy now, whatever, and now you feeling sad because you ain't accomplished your task, and you wanted, you started off this morning, and you wanted to do it, but now you just ain't doing it no more, that might be a trigger for you. Know your triggers, and learn that you're going to have to learn discipline or how to live a healthier lifestyle. I have struggled with things like that, and I have written out my breakfast, what I should eat, I write out the fruits and stuff. I do a whole list before I go to the grocery store and I have the fruits and things down on my list that I need to get to make sure I get those things because if they're in my house, I'm going to eat them. I mean, and you just have to be disciplined to know, you know, to do stuff like that. So if you want to be happy, live a healthier lifestyle. So my number five is going to be talk and share. Okay. If you want to be happy, talk and share. Let it out, girl. Don't bottle it all up. Don't sit around and just have all of this stuff building up on the inside of you. Find somebody that you can trust, 
somebody that ain't gonna be running their mouth, you know, when you telling them things, and, and let it out. Find somebody that's trusting. I know it's hard to in this world sometimes to have good friends and trusting friends, but like I said, if you feel like you have nobody in the world, you know, you know, get a therapist. You know, if you feel like you need that. You know, I feel like since I, like, gotten a little bit more closer to God, I feel like I don't even need my therapist no more. You know what I mean? I mean, but if you not on no spiritual level or whatever, get you a therapist. Get you a therapist because you really need to be able to talk about things, talk about your issues, talk about things that's troubling you, and get those things out. Like a spiritual person, they're going to talk to God about that stuff in prayer and expect that he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think for you know what i mean but if you do not like i just said if you're not on, if you're not there yet get yourself a therapist if you don't have a good girlfriend that you can really talk to that ain't gonna be running her mouth okay but find a way to be happy talk and share so my number six way that you can try to maintain your happiness is do not overindulge in what's going on in this dark world. It will depress you. Every time I turn on my social media, you guys, some days I don't even want to turn it on. But ma the majority of the time when I turn it on, somebody in Walmart fighting and then it'll go to another fight video or you'll see something. Oh, they got cancer in the perms for you. They got cancer in this food and cancer... This food is causing people to get cancer and they put injections in this chicken and look how big the chicken is and this, this all big and fat and this is causing this and this is causing people to be sick. And oh my God, oh my God. It's like, you can't even find nothing to eat anymore. You know, I mean, it has gotten that bad. They, they taking all the seeds out the fruit. You know, it's, it's getting horrible, girl. And you just trying to, you be like, oh my God, oh my God. Because you have kids, you have to cook them food. You don't want to make your children sick, not knowing you're making them sick. So you, you have all of these things on your mind. You know, this bomb and this war and China got a balloon over the, over the U.S. and watching our military and this is going to happen and stock your house up and... Oh my God, girl. Now you have to be aware of what's going on in the world. Don't be stupid. You know what I mean? Know what's going on so that you can, if you feel like you need to be getting prepared for something, you can be prepared for it or prepare your house for fame and, and all of these things that they say recession or this is going to come. You know, go ahead and prepare for it. It's better for you to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, right? So if you do, if you are trying to be aware of what's happening in the world so you won't be caught off guard like how COVID just hit everybody or the inflation just hit people or one day the gas just there was no gas y'all remember that they just had something like that it was no gas and people didn't know that that was happening because it was a flood in Broward County and the, the truckers couldn't get to the gas stations to put out the trunk because they was trapped in with the flood and people didn't have gas. And the people who knew about that got gas first ahead of time. And the people who found out late, they went this gas station, that gas station. They could get no gas. So I'm saying you, you should be aware of what's going on, but you cannot overindulge. Turn it off. After you've seen a little bit of it, turn it off. Because if you watch it consistently, consistently every day, guess what? You're going to be very sad, unhappy, and depressed. Because there is nothing good going on out there in the world for some reason. So moving right on along to number seven. I'm going to say this is something else that you can do to try to maintain your happiness is find the smallest thing. The smallest thing that brings you joy and do it. Okay. Like I just said, it could be just as simple as having your coffee out of a, out of a yellow mug. Okay, the, something bright, something beautiful, something lit up that you might like. I don't care how small it is. It could be so small as far as just leaving the house and going to sit in a coffee shop. And just have a nice cup of coffee and just get things off your mind. You know what I mean? It might be just going into, like I said, you might just go to a flower shop or walk in somewhere and just pick up yourself a nice bouquet of flowers. The smallest things, I don't care what it is, find joy in that. Let me tell you, I was out with my son one day and um, I don't know, I 
was just smiling and smiling and I was waiting on my son. Y'all excuse my alarm, my alarm in my house. But I was just smiling and this lady came, this Caucasian lady. I think she was Caucasian. And she said to me, she said, she was walking like with a cane, y'all. And she said to me, she was like, wow, you're sure happy. Um, she said, I haven't smiled like that in a long time. That's what she said to me, right? So, you know, I just proceeded to tell her, like, you know, well, you know, you have to, I'm, like I'm telling you guys, you have to find things that can just make you smile in spite of what's happening. You know, I understand, I, I don't know what's, I, I don't know what was going on with her leg or she was walking slow and then she was proceeding to tell me that her husband was sitting out in the car and he wasn't feeling well and she wasn't feeling well and, you know, it, they haven't smiled in a long time. They was a little older too. They was almost close to like an elderly couple. And it just blew her away to see me just smiling and chippery or whatever. I think I had some earphones or something in my ear. I don't know what I was doing. And then here come my son walking into the area where we were sitting. And he just come in skipping and chippery and happy. And she said, wow, look at him. He's just as happy as you. He's happy too. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, like I'm telling you guys, I'm not happy every day. But I have to learn again how to make myself happy you have to literally this world is so dark and cold you hear me it could be oh that might be a lot of reasons why people turn on their youtube they looking for something to just you know do a vlog do something do a vlog you looking at your favorite youtuber and you just want to see them going somewhere beautiful today you might want to see what they doing today you know and those things can can lift you up but, you know, like I was telling the lady, hey, you know, like I told, I tell her what works for me. Hey, baby, like I said, I, I can find the simplest, smallest thing. If you're a person that like nature, get outside, walk to the park, walk on the park, get you some fresh air. I like, you know, I like small things like the birds tweaking outside at my house in the morning. I stand to my window with a cup of coffee, girl, in pure silence and just listen to the birds. Tweet, 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 tweet. Girl, they be going to town in the spring, right? Like around this time of the year, them birds be going to town out there. And I love the sound of that. You know, I don't know. So that might be my little small thing. So I don't know what your little small thing could be. It could just be a really good book. You know what I mean? Or just having somebody over that you really, really enjoy their company and just sitting with them and watching a nice movie in your house and pop some popcorn in your own house. You know what I mean? But whatever it is, find joy, find happiness, seek it. You know what I mean? It's there, but it's a choice. Don't de wait on nobody else to make you happy. Don't depend on nobody else to make you happy. Because I've seen girls sign online on uh, Valentine's Day and stuff, and they all sad and depressed over that one day. Are you serious? Girl, it's one day. It doesn't matter. I said, did you have a boyfriend last Valentine's Day? No. So you gonna cry and mope over every Valentine's Day? Really? Girl, get up. Go buy yourself some balloons. Okay, go buy yourself some flowers today. Put on some red. Take some pictures if that's what you have to do. I'm, You know, me personally, I'm no longer gonna be getting caught up in these holidays like this. I'm just not gonna be doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, and you meditating on that stuff, you getting online, you looking at everybody taking pictures with their boo, and you just going into a depression, girl. Mm-mm. No, baby. We're not going to be doing that no more. Not in 2023. It's all about us. Put yourself first. Okay, let me tell you why I say that. Because put yourself first, even if it's over your kids. That might knock some of y'all out your seat. Over my kids, yes. You know why I say that? Because if you are no good at this moment, you're, got, you're not going to be any good for nobody else. If you sick, how you going to take care of somebody else? If you all messed up down and depressed and moping in your bed, your kids might be hungry and running around the house and you can't even get up out of bed because you're still thinking about Charlie Child. Really? <laughs> so in other words, you're, you're really no good to nobody else if you're not, if you not good yourself. So yeah, you have to make yourself a priority. Your happiness should be a big deal and anything that don't make you happy needs to be eliminated. Like I said, and I don't care if it's a family member, period. Because that's what I do. So I'm just telling you what I do. And I want you to be happy. I hope you can be happy. 
you know and if you clicked on this video and you were sad i hope there was something that i said in this video that can help you out today because girl let me tell you there is a silver lining in all of this mess okay you just got to find it okay know your triggers find out what really makes you happy and continue to do it every time that mood hits you do what makes you happy find out what's making you happy make a list of those things as soon as a bad mood come look at a comedy movie or something just start laughing you know it might be a very good funny movie or something you know it's gonna crack you up turn it on your whole mood is going to change okay so I'm sending blessings and love and good vibes and positive frequencies to your home, to your life. I pray that you are uplifted. I pray that you will be high and feeling good. I pray that your self-esteem will be boosted to the 10th power, baby. I pray that you will be dressing good, smelling good, looking good, feeling good, not allowing nobody to bring you down okay and handling your business like a lady and just keep on trumping baby just keep on triumphing over everything that kind of gets in your way hey you know this this world is crazy so it's a lot more things gonna be coming in this world so go ahead and practice this stuff now so that you can be prepared for whatever whatever life is gonna bring i wish you well so these are my eight ways or eight tips to you on how to maintain your happiness Hopefully I added some value to you in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you happy people on the next video. Have a good one.